Hi, my name is Atia Anglin. I attend School of the Arts as a sophomore. I'm 15 years old. This documentary will be based upon the curfew that the city of Rochester has set for teens my age and older. This curfew has put a few limitations on us and our activities as teens. In this documentary, you will see various people's Opinion. opinions on how they feel towards these different curfews, whether or not they agree, the pros, the cons, and how what they can do to change or to make this curfew a positive thing. Thank you. Well, personally, I agree with it because um, I think what is going on now in the communities is not okay. Um, you know, me personally seeing it from my point of view, you know, I watch little kids want to grow up and be like the surroundings there. I feel like there's no more role models in the communities. You got older kids teaching little kids to be gangsters and thugs. And um, they be out late and I don't think that's acceptable because personally me, I'm in school, so, um, you know, you got it. They got to go to school, and the curfew is there for them. You know, it's only to better the community. That's how I look at it because they got to be in school, and you know, you got to you got to go in the house. You got to respect your mom. I feel that the community curfew is a very good thing because it allows teens my age and older to stay off the streets at night so that nothing violent will break out. Well. Um let me deal with the good part about it, good, uh, good thing about it. it what it does, it, it, it provides a time frame for trying to keep kids safe. Um, what it doesn't do, and the reason why it was put into place, was to reduce violence. And, and most uh, kids who, most folks who are involved in violence are not necessarily on the street, um, you know, and in, in the same with the same group of kids. So, so I mean, it doesn't necessarily deal with the violence, but what it does do, it keeps younger kids safe, and it puts some time limit on them uh, in terms of their their being in the street as opposed to being home. Uh, I, for example, I've got a 14 year old godson that lives with me. Um, I don't send them to the store after 11 o'clock. In conclusion, teens 13 through 17 feel that the curfew is a very positive thing. But in order for the curfew to be more effective, it needs to be enforced more by parents, police, and the guardians of the teens. Thank you.